Hi there, we're going to take a look at another Unit 3 LXL Micro question, a 16 mark question on the data response paper, and offer some hints on good exam technique. Keep in mind for the 16 mark, of course, there are eight KA marks available, eight evaluation marks. We're looking for three KA points, three evaluation points, and uh, look to see if there's any mention of game theory in the question, because then you'll have to use that as part of your answer. So here's the question this time. Assess whether a takeover is likely to increase economic efficiency using an industry of your choice. OK, so it's always good in the exam to start off with clear, accurate definitions. So define economic efficiency. It's in the question. We're trying to make optimum use of scarce resources. Uh, allocative efficiency, of course, is price relative to marginal cost. Productive efficiency is to do with the unit cost of supply, particularly in the long run. And dynamic efficiency is the, the pace of innovation, quality of products, the range of choice for consumers. It'll be important for you to have in this answer a good industry of your choice. You can use more than one if you want, but uh, always good to have one in particular. I've given you some examples here. The AB and InBev massive bid for SAB Mellow in the brewing industry. Big takeovers in hotels. Horizontal integration in betting. And just recently, of course, the huge Microsoft um, acquisition of LinkedIn for $26 million. Wow. You can make a distinction in, in terms of takeovers between horizontal and vertical. So vertical integration, of course, is where you buy businesses at the in the same industry but at a different stage of the supply chain. Good example there, Apple buying the motion capture company face, face shift. But start off with definitions and get some good examples in. It's always good to use a relevant KA analysis diagram. So this one could be used, this is the long and average cost curve diagram, could be used to explain how a takeover might lead to economies of scale and therefore lower long and average costs, taking a business perhaps closer to the minimum efficient scale of production. You can also use an analysis diagram as the prelude, as the support for good evaluation. So you might be arguing, at some point in the answer, that actually takeovers can worsen economic efficiency because they lead to more monopoly power. So bring in a monopoly diagram. Uh, takeovers that increase market power can lead to higher prices for consumers above marginal cost, causing a loss of allocative efficiency and overall welfare. For those of you really confident, this area here that I'm showing on my mouse would be the area of deadweight loss, this area here, if you price above marginal cost at output Q1. But a good analysis diagram will really help the answer and sets up the evaluation quite nicely. So we're looking for three key points. To what extent might takeovers improve efficiency? Well, there might be some economies of scale from horizontal integration. For example, two brewing firms merging their operations and rationalising their, their production to bring down unit costs. There could be higher profits from a takeover, which increases the funds available to finance research and development, which could lead to more innovation and dynamic efficiency, perhaps the merger of two uh, pharmaceutical companies. And the other point, of course, is that even if a firm has more monopoly power as a result of a takeover, it may still face actual and the threat of competition in contestable markets. And therefore, the price could actually be, instead of this being the monopoly price up here, P1, if you're in a contestable market, the price is likely to be lower because of the actual or the threat of competition. So that would lead to a more allocatively efficient outcome. Counter arguments, counter arguments against the arguments that takeovers lead to efficiency. Uh, market power, of course, for the enlarged firm could actually generate X inefficiencies, uh, managerial slack and waste because of the absence of real competition. Uh, firms may become too big, mergers may exa exacerbate the, the risk of diseconomies of scale, so you could use a diagram for that. Use your contextual knowledge to explain how many mergers actually fail to to reap or achieve the likely forecast gains in, in unit cost reductions. And of course, you can also point to the fact that there are now many more demergers happening across different industries. And demergers suggest that lots of takeovers actually don't do much, both for economic efficiency and also for shareholder value. Generally, many takeovers and mergers are driven by managerial motives, managerial objectives, which actually have little to do with economic efficiency. That's a point in evaluation. 
Another argument is that most mergers are actually cleared on competition grounds. So the Competition and Markets Authority less worried about mergers from an efficiency competition point of view. However, a recent example, just last month, the 302 merge was blocked on competition issues by the European Competition Commission. I think a really good evaluation point is that the market structure after a takeover is not perhaps as important as the actual behaviour of firms that are in the market in terms of price and research and investment. So the, the structure of the market is perhaps less important than the day in, day out behaviour of businesses. That said, horizontal integration is probably more likely to raise concerns about market power and a potential loss of allocative efficiency. However, most industries, even oligopolies, most industries are contestable to some shape or form. There's the threat of competition, some disruptive uh, businesses coming in, uh, particularly in sort of technology industries where you know, new startups such as Uber and Airbnb can very quickly become globally scaled businesses. So there's plenty of evaluation that you can throw into this kind of essay. Uh, it's just a good idea to have lots of examples of m recent mergers and takeovers and what were the motivations behind them and then make a clever, clear link between those takeovers and the, the types of economic efficiency that we've mentioned at the start of this video. So hopefully that will be a good question for you and one you could really attack as part of your, your 16 marker. Thank you.